What's up, y'all? Uh, so I am wearing the new, first of all, I am so mad that I have been trying to upload videos every day at noon. I've posted every day consistently. I've had two days call it, cut it close because for some reason the videos didn't upload. Uh, so I, it didn't upload and weren't available to post by noon like I usually post. So they got posted at night, which is some bullshit. <coughs> Whatever. <coughs> um, okay, now, um, now, so... Quick little life update. I got four or five days left to filming this uh, reality TV show. Here I am. I love my new, this red sweater I have. It's inside out because that's how I wear them. I got my nails are black. I'm wearing the new Meta sunglasses. I got my earring on. I just worked out. I went to bed at 12.30 last night. Woke up at 5. Worked out. I'm back here now. I got my coffee. I'm going to take, I've been taking this alpha brain shit that I keep seeing on TikTok that I'm just doing it. I honestly don't know if I notice anything. I mean, I feel fine without it, but. You know, I already bought fucking three things because whatever the fuck. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. And also, I changed my name on TikTok from Mr. YOLO to Swag Boy, which I'm fucking with. Which I, I was mad about when I first did it. But then I scrolled on my own page and saw the name that said Swag Boy, and I was, I was fucking with it. So, uh, oh, okay. And uh, also... Oh, also, um, I, I want to thank what you call it. So I've been uh, working a lot on my on my show, and I, and I get home and I don't really have like a lot of free time. And I kind of just want to relax. So I want to thank you, Alvin. I've been playing on the on the Game Boy. I picked Totodile, and it's been fun, man. So thank you for that. I appreciate it, dog. Uh, I think it's great. And uh, yeah, so I just want to literally just talk to you guys and also say something. So I've been talking a lot about the whole like creativity, blah, blah, blah. I honestly don't want to talk about that anymore. I have my endorphins running from the workout. I had my two little rest days because I would wake up and work out before I go on set uh, on Saturday and Sunday, but the gym doesn't open till seven and I get picked up at eight twenty, So I really only have like 20, 30 minutes for a workout. And like, I, I I'll sleep in those days. So, you know, I'll sleep till eight on those days and then go. Cause I need to catch up on sleep. But yeah, so I'm just going to just uh, talk to you guys about, uh, oh, I don't even know. I, I, I don't need to say anything. But, like, I'm, I'm, like, juiced up this morning. I got, like, no sleep and I'm juiced up. But the, honestly, guys, the show has been going really well for me personally. Um, I really feel like I'm good at reality TV. And I think there's something I'm, like, I think I'm actually really good at reality TV. And it makes me pretty happy. Um, I, and also, side note, when I open these Pokemon cards, I, I'm not a Pokemon card YouTuber, although I love doing that, but I just want to talk, but there's just something to do with my hands and gets me jazzed to make videos. Um, but yeah, right now there's a week till Christmas. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. A week till Christmas. I mean, that's pretty insane. Um, and basically what I want to say about that is that I haven't really got to do anything in December. This is a cool Pokemon. I've never seen this. Cool. Yeah, so I've never really got to um, celebrate that much Christmas stuff. I did build a gingerbread house, which was really nice, and that made me really happy. But besides that, I haven't done anything. Have you guys? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Kangaskhan. That's a cool card. Headbutt. Damn, that's a good card. Fucking A. These fucking bum-ass cards. Palafin, head ass. Um, but yeah, guys. So what else? Um, yeah, I've been a little bit uh, bummed out about this whole uh, YouTube video thing, dude. You know, I I think that I might have. Oh, also, I'll, I'll, I'll make another uh, another video about that. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, but um, yeah, I um, I. I don't really know. I don't know. I feel good this morning. I haven't been sleeping a lot. And I just... Um, I don't know. I don't want to keep talking about the same thing. I'm pretty happy today. I'm pretty happy today. And you know what? From being in a place where like... Usually I get home and I'm just really burnt out and I just go to bed so I can, you know, just be ready for the next day. Um, you know, me taking this time for myself in the morning to work out, get a coffee, do my thing, make a video if I need to. Mm. 
have some extra time to sharpen up before I go on set. I don't know. Taking care of myself has been really important throughout this process. And, um, I don't know. Do you guys take care of yourself? Do you guys make time for yourself when you, when your time goes to something else? I don't know. I don't really know. But I will say something else, y'all. I feel like I am so good at making content now. Like, I feel like I am the best content creator in the world. Even though my content is not super, like, engaging in the sense of, like, I don't, like, edit everything and it's not, like, crisp and clean. But, like, I know how to do that now. Like, what I've basically been going through is, like, for the past three weeks, this is going to be the fourth week um, that are going through, um, for the past three, four weeks, I've been basically at influencer boot camp where I have like to work on stuff against like, you know, other influencers and I've been doing really well for myself. And I just feel like I know now how to be at that next level of my content. And what I'm really trying to learn how that affects me personally is like, Finding, I don't know if there is a line, but incorporating all I know into the same style content I do because, you know, with a lot of my stuff, what, what uh, you know, the thing about my YouTube channel I love is that it's like kind of in a way low effort. It is, um, it is really realistic. It's not some per- perfect version of me online it's just me talking to the camera and I really like authenticity online and that's what I want to put out there and I really like being authentic online and I don't think that making visually engaging videos through the use of editing and you know templates or just whatever the fuck you may be doing any sort of like anything that makes your videos like high production with effects and shit like that I don't think that makes your stuff look not cool, but I think that um, for me, like I'm, I, I, a big challenge that I have to learn. Kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm like, um, a big challenge that I have to learn is how to be funny, be myself, make good content, and make viral content, and also be as authentic as possible, which right now boils down to me just being me and kind of like improving. That's basically what I do on all my stuff if I really had to break it down. And it's interesting because there's no really right way to improv or be authentic. It just is kind of like, what can you pull out of your head to make interesting stuff? But um, in terms of content or like what that means for my future, I just really, y'all, I have, um, I'm just so excited for January, and I think the next year is going to be huge. I, like, really feel that next year is going to be, like, next year is going to be a completely, like, kind of coming into my own year of, like, a lot of things that I talk about and have been in the process are going to start blooming and seeing that, and I'm just excited um, for that. And, uh, I don't know. And, and, you know, something I've also been wrestling with, I, you know, I heard this phrase on Instagram, this guy was talking about, um, you know, don't work so you can, so you can chase your values. Like don't work so you can chase like, like spending more time to yourself and, and, you know, maybe being more religious or, um, don't like basically don't work so you can achieve a value don't work so you can have free time, don't work so you can be a nicer person, don't work so you can um, be there more for your family, like work from that stuff. So work in a way that allows you to do all that, which is like easier said than done. But um, that's something that I'm kind of thinking about as I'm talking about this working from your values. And I guess that that realigns it to asking myself, what are my values? What do I really truly want? Because I already like, 
this I, I, this might sound weird, but like I know that I'm going to get to where I want to go, and I'm just thinking right now, like, okay, I I don't want to go through this like I have experienced success. Now I need to figure out who I am. I want to prioritize learning that now and kind of really figuring out what is true to me. And I, I have an idea of what feels true to me in the sense that things that come naturally from me, you know, like um, like work ethic, integrity, like freedom of time, um, you know, ability to, you know, support others and, you know, take care of others, things like that. But um, kind of putting an even more emphasis on that in the new year, you know, being, um, you know, being in a position where uh, I no longer just can like, you know, daydream about, you know, having like, you know, coming up and having a team with me and like putting everyone on and things like that. Like I like, I don't know. I want to like get to that. I don't know. I don't know. But I think it is helpful in terms of, um, you know, mentally being in that place where I've already achieved what I wanted to achieve because that tells my brain, okay, you know, all your wildest dreams have already happened. What now? And it, you know, my, you know, my reality will start to reflect that. And I just like, you know, I feel like it's right as rain. And, um, so yeah, I mean, I have a question for you guys. Like, do you guys think about like your values, values? Do you guys have like your values written down? Cause I have affirmations and things like that, but I don't necessarily have my values written down like that. Although like I just, it's kind of like natural to me. It's like, you don't really think about breathing. You just breathe. You know what I mean? I don't really think about like, I don't wake up and go like, these are my values. Like it's just, it's like how I operate. But you know, I don't think it's going to be hard to identify them anyways, but yeah. But you know, again, for me, I have this weird thing with time where, like, I always, like, I just value time so much and I'm, like, scared of wasting time and things like that. So, um, yeah. But also, I don't, I'm not scared of uh, r relaxing. Like, something I'm trying to form a better relationship with is taking time to myself and um, not beating myself up when I need to take time to re re refresh and, like, reset and that is something that's helped serve me because like when I come home, you know, I work like a 13 hour day on the show and I get back at like nine and I'm really tired and, you know, I might have videos I want to do like, you know, maybe like only posted once or twice, um, that day on, on, uh, social media and like not really feeling super duper proactive and things like that. Just feeling kind of like, mm. you know what I mean? Like I'm working really hard at one thing, but like all the other things aren't, up to par what they're doing, but it's, you know, it's investment, but, you know, I get back home and part of me wants to like play catch up, but then I'm just, that means that I'm so married to these old ways that like they take precedence over everything else in my life. That includes like, you know, my own self-worth because my self-worth can't depend on like these external things and like you know, just bottom line is that like, you know, worked hard point blank period. And like, that's that. And, uh, uh, you know, learning to pat myself on the back a little bit more about that and valuing time to recover after I, uh, after I get home, you know, valuing, like getting home and telling myself like, it is okay if I just want to, you know, play Pokemon silver you know, for a little bit and just like do that. Like, that's fine. You know, shout out Alvin. Thanks, bro. And, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I'm forming a better relationship with that. And, uh, I think that's what reading has been for me for a while, but this might sound lazy, but reading just seems very strenuous these days. Um, and I'm just not that interested in, no, no, I, I won't say that, but like, there is, like, I'm just fucking tired after the day, dog, and I should probably be on it more, but when I read, I really want to, like, take it all into my brain, and that could be an excuse, because 
when you do start reading, like you do need like a second to let it really sink into your brain. But, um, you know, I need to value that. And so to value that, I need to be at my best so I can be primed to intake all the information I'm about to read. And, um, yeah, but that's what I'm learning. But, um, yeah, man, I love you guys. And YouTube is, uh, has been a, a really a challenge for me to stay consistent with. Not that much of a challenge. It's not like it's that hard. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I love it. Like, this isn't, like, really work to me. You know what it sounds like? Well, you know what's work is going to be needing to leave my fucking phone open while it uploads. That's that's work to me. That's some bullshit. But other than that, it's great. But, yeah, man, I'm, well, I love you guys. And um, let me know about any of the questions I ask. I know it's kind of a lot. But, yeah, I love you guys. You guys are at bomb.com. So thanks so much. And I uh, love you guys. Bye-bye. Be the person you wish you had.